Hello everyone, this is Lamid Sane of LS Web Apps and today we're gonna take a look at 7 things good programmers know that others don't. Number 1. Good programmers know that getting out working code is more important than perfect the first time. And what do I mean by that? Okay, so basically you may have this um, feeling that you always have to write perfect and really well designed code. But sometimes the truth is that you are so pressed for time that just getting out the basic functionality is more important because think about it if you are in pursuit of perfect code and you never get to ship a working product what good is it if at the end of your deadline you have this perfect product where you've missed the deadline so every project has at least a deadline well at least the projects i've worked in so think about this getting out working code that is a working product even if it's not perfect in terms of coding is more important sometimes than the most beautifully designed code okay number two Good programmers know that not grasping a concept the first time is normal and expecting to get frustrated is part of programming. So code newbies or people who are new to programming will think that getting frustrated is something that should not happen. Maybe they come from another field that they are so good in and they forget when they started out in that field as well. So expect to be frustrated a lot when you're going through a programming career. And when you get to a level where you're very good, the frustration never stops there, but maybe it might be minimal. So good programmers know that once in a while, they will expect to get frustrated. Okay, And also that trying to understand a new concept and not being successful at it is pretty normal the first time. So the secret lies in trying over and over again to understand it. Rule number three, good programmers know that programming language is just a tool. The most important thing to understand is the general concept of programming and problem solving, which are more important. Okay, so as you've gone through um, several languages, you will know that uh, many of these languages have many things in common. And you will start to realize that understanding how to solve problems in general, how to break down problems, is much more important than understanding a language on its own. Okay, and one rule that you've learned from a group of languages can be applied to the next programming language that you learn. Number four, good programmers know that one cannot know everything that's involved in programming and asking for help occasionally is part of being a good programmer and nothing to be ashamed of. Good programmers know that sometimes you just have to get away from your own keyboard and go and meet someone else, not necessarily someone who's better than you, but maybe has a different perspective and ask them if you are stuck on something. Because sometimes the way you're looking at a problem is not necessarily the best way of going about it. And maybe asking someone else might give you a different view of solving that same problem. Okay? Number five. Good programmers know that getting your hand dirty is the only way to get better at programming. There are no shortcuts. You have to put in the hours. Okay, this one, um, you will not realize it, but only time will tell. So the more you progress along your career, the more you realize that you're getting better at things. And not necessarily because you're intelligent or anything like that. I give you credit um, because if you are doing programming, you have at least some level of intelligence. So kudos to you. But the point I'm trying to make here is that if you want to get better at programming, you just have to sit down and code and get your hands dirty, make mistakes, get frustrated and all those things that programming brings along with it. Okay. Number six, good programmers know that the latest and shiniest tool isn't always the best option for new projects. While saying this, I have JavaScript frameworks come in mind. Use the best tool for the job, not necessarily the latest tool that has just come out. Because if you just want to follow along with the latest tool that has just come out, I can guarantee you there'll be a new JavaScript framework out every month. So are you going to keep changing JavaScript frameworks for your current project or are you just going to stick to one and get the job done? And this does not only apply to JavaScript frameworks, it applies to every um, other language as well. Okay, so if a new PHP framework comes out, you don't necessarily have to use it in your current project. You can just have a look at it, take a peek, and uh, maybe plan about it for a future project, but it might not necessarily be the best thing for you in this project. Okay, good programmers know that it is sometimes okay to say I don't know. The imposter syndrome kicks in. And what this means is that sometimes even I feel like this. I feel like I will get found out one day that I don't know what I'm doing. And that's pretty okay. That's just human nature. Maybe you're seeing some um, someone post some really cool code, code project on Twitter and you think to yourself, wow, I've never made anything so cool as this. But a thing that you don't realize is that that person as well probably once in their career 
has had the same feeling that they might get found out or that they don't know enough. So it is pretty normal to say I don't know. Maybe not every time, but once in a while, if you don't know, just be honest about it. And uh, yeah, everyone feels about feels like that once in a while. And if you happen to be in that 1% that never gets to feel like you don't know, um, well, thumbs up to you though. But the rest of us mortals, once in a while, we do get to feel like that. Okay, so um, there you have it. Seven things good programmers know that others don't.